I'm absolutely thrilled to be presenting my play Mustard, uh, directed by Hildegard Ryan and produced by the brilliant people at Fish Amble. Um, I'm absolutely delighted to be working with Fish Amble again. They produced my previous play, Maz and Bricks, as well. Um, it's really exciting that we're at the Traverse virtually. Um, I went to university in Edinburgh, so I was actually in the Young Writers Group in the Traverse, and then I was in the Traverse 50, which was a bunch of 50 playwrights that they chose. So I have a history um, with the theatre, and it just feels so good to um, be bringing my play back. My name is Eva O'Connor and my play is called Mustard. Mustard is about a girl who falls in love with a professional cyclist and has this crazy head over heels, passionate relationship with him. And meanwhile, she's battling her demons. Um, she has a secret addiction to something. And as the play goes on, you realize that addiction is to mustard and it's not to eating it, it's to putting it all over her body. So that's like her weird, shameful coping mechanism is smothering herself in mustard. So yeah, it's about heartbreak and condiments and coping mechanisms and love and kind of battling your demons in quite strange ways. I had written short bits of it for like different um performance nights like I did some of it at kind of like a cabaret night and um I was really fascinated by the theme of heartbreak at the time and like what people are driven to do um when their relationships break down and yeah then it kind of I just um kind of started building on that small kind of 10 minute piece that I had written and then it kind of just took on a life of its own and I ended up with the play. Um, I suppose the mix of all the different genres happened like fairly organically. I was really interested in performance art in general. I had done another piece where I put peanut butter and jam all over my body and shave it off and put it into sandwiches for the audience. So I've always been quite interested in the idea of condiments on the body. Um, so yeah, then I suppose I had the script and I knew that there would be a lot of mustard in it. And I took the script to my director, Hildegard Ryan, and um She's like quite a, a visual, visceral director. So she kind of helped me marry all those elements together. Ooh, my favorite line or moment. Well, a big theme in the play is um, water and like op open water swimming and how that helps the main character to get to grips with her demons. And I suppose, a a big line in it for me as a kind of writer and performer, I suppose, is the water helped me with heartbreak. And I think that's kind of true. It's sort of, it represents, I suppose, redemption for her and recovery. So yeah, maybe that one. Touring remotely is quite strange. Um, on one hand, it's really cool because you get to reach this really wide audience. And I think like, you know, loads of people are like buying tickets that live in the States and um, people who might've missed the show suddenly realize they can watch it at home. So from that point of view, it's brilliant. It is quite strange sitting at home when it's on, when you would normally be in the theater touring. And I think like everyone, I really miss just being on stage. But at the same time, I feel like it, at, at the start of 2020, people had told me that we'd be doing it this way. I would have been like, it won't work, it's impossible. But now I kind of see that it sort of have, has its own magic. It can never be, I think, as good as in real life, but I think it's a close second. Oh my goodness, I would love to be in Edinburgh right now. Um, I went to university in Edinburgh, so I absolutely love the city. I'd probably just be walking around, not wearing enough clothes, so I'd probably be complaining about the cold. Um, I'd probably climb Arthur's Seat in the day and go to Armstrong's and drink coffee and walk around and just breathe in the Scottish air. But alas, I'm in London. Ooh, big question. Um, I suppose I'm just one of those writers who writes because I, I can't not write. I've always written, even when I was like a child, a teenager, I've always scribbling in notebooks. Um, I don't particularly love writing. Like people who are like, oh my God, it brings me so much joy when I put pen to paper. I don't really have those feelings. I tend to feel um, quite tortured and anxious when I'm writing, but I, it's just what I do. And I can kind of can't not write, if that makes sense. 
the advice to never edit your kind of thoughts or ideas is quite good. I feel like editing should always come later down the line once you've written a script. So hearing that really helped me to kind of not censor yourself, especially in like the early stages of an idea. Um, and there's also a quote that I think it was on a postcard that one of my friends gave me when I was like maybe 15 or something. And I think it's like a quote attributed to Gota, which is, it says, whatever you dream you can do, begin it now. Boldness has genius power and magic in it. And I really love that quote, whoever actually said it. I'm not sure if it was him, but I just feel like it's like, just start it, whatever you're thinking about, just go ahead and do it. And I think that's really helped me. Visceral, compelling, and saucy. Um, so yeah, tickets are available until the 14th, so grab them while you can.